Hello, it is Monday, March 18th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday crossword, which means we're going to be solving what should be a relatively gentle and approachable edition of the New York Times crossword. And because it's Monday, I'm going to stick to my recently established tradition of solving uh, just with the down clues, at least as far as I can I can go with that. And then uh, tomorrow on Tuesday, we'll try the same with the across clues. So I'm curious to see how that pans out today. And this down heavy edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Mike from Vermont, Daily Buzzard, Dre, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. Thank you so much to those four. They're benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they directly support this channel. They keep this whole series going. I'm very grateful to them for that, as I am to the efforts for the efforts of all patrons. Thank you so much if you've contributed at any level. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to join the ranks of those folks, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the description field link where you'll find the bonus videos available to patrons and uh, for benefactors like those four, the official Let's Check the Crosses mug. Thanks if you've done that. Thanks if you have subscribed to the channel on YouTube. And there's also that Daily Solve Discord chat server, a nice friendly chat community, which is linked in the description field. All right, let's get on to today's crossword by Trent H. Evans, who's constructed around 10 crosswords for the New York Times, once again, were edited by Joel Faliano. And let's start solving. And I'll switch immediately to the downs. Social media posts tagged as sponsored, e.g. are ads, presumably. Creamy French cheese, I mean, number of possibilities, but in four letters and an, or an easy crossword, I would think probably Brie. Meddling sorts could be... Uh, nosy, what is a word for someone who's sort of nosy, meddling? So busybodies? Uh, info for a spy would be intel, maybe? Ooh, these acrosses are looking weird. Barely make do with buy to eek buy. Oh, maybe they're right. I don't know. I'm not going to look at the acrosses to find out. Only, well, I'll look at what's in the grid, but I won't look at the clues. Delicate use of words is tact. If you're tactful, you use your words delicately. New York the uh, Theater Award could be Tony or Obie. Tony is the sort of mainline theater awards. Obies are the off-Broadway awards. Um, I mean, the problem is I can think of crosses that would fit either possibility. I think Obie is a bit more flexible with the crosses. I'm going to try it. Well, remember that I may have to come back to that. Nevertheless, nevertheless, it's true. Yet, it's true, perhaps. Nevertheless, yet. In three letters, I think that's reasonable. Uh, if one hinders someone, one blocks someone, one um, hinders, stymies, maybe. St S would be a good cross for six across making toys. Let's see if that fits. It does. I'm going to go with it. To bring back to life as an auto battery would be to jumpstart, maybe. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. You get a bit of charge from an, uh, another battery, another car's battery. Yeah, sure you did. I bet, you might say. Toy brand documented on the website Brickipedia. I, this has to be Lego for Lego bricks. That must be the case. Crab pot for crabbing, e.g. A trap? I mean, you catch crabs in a pot. I think you catch eels in a pot as well. Um, I guess it's probably trap. Uh, Barilla competitor or, or Berea. This is, um, I mean, I know, I know it as a pasta brand. I mean, there might be other, this might be other things as well. What would be a competitor? Ragu, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe Berea makes sauces as well. I don't know. But Ragu does, and that would fit in four letters here. NBA tiebreakers for short overtimes, I assume. I mean, that's a common tiebreaking phase in many, many sports. And NBA being abbreviated suggests that the answer will be as well as it is OTs for overtimes. A store sign lit up during business hours. The word open probably. To show off shamelessly would be to strut or to boast or brag. None of those is long enough. To show off shamelessly, to flaunt. That would fit, that would fit. To, to show off your abilities. You would be to flaunt your ability to show them off shamelessly. I think that's probably right. Geological time unit is an epoch, a, you know, unit of grand, a grand unit of time on the geological scale. Monte, Monte, oh, Monte Blanc gambling destination, Monte Carlo, which is 
common gambling mecca in, I don't know, mid-century films, I guess, is what I sort of associate it with. Uh, to snitch on somebody is to tell on them, to narc on them. Well, we're not going to have on. We're not going to have on because that's already in the clue. To snitch on, to tattle, but that's not to on. You wouldn't. You could say, I'm snitching. I'm going to snitch on Bob. I'm going to tattle Bob. You wouldn't say that. You'd say I'm going to rat out, maybe? Like a donut with no icing or filling. Plain? Is that... Is it a... Is it, could it be as straightforward as that? I don't know. I guess we'll find out eventually. Farewell celebration for those leaving the Hawaiian Islands. An aloha something? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure about this one. Fundamental belief. This could be a tenet as in a tenet of faith or a credo, the um, you know, principles by which you live your life or your religion or whatever. Uh, don't think I know how to disambiguate between the two right now. To glorify could be to extol or exalt, maybe. Maybe it starts with EX regardless. Let's go with that for now. It's no longer worth talking about. A moot point? I think that was in the, um, in the I think moot was in the crossword the other day. Custodians ring full, so a custodian of a building or something else could have keys to be able to get into any room or building. You'd rather not know. You'd rather not know. This is presumably an answer to a question of somebody requesting more details, and you say, oh, you'd rather not know. I don't know, but I, I'm not, I'd rather not know. Well, I'd rather know the answer to this, but I don't. Airport rental could be a car. You could rent a car at an airport. Drought ender, rain would end a period of drought. Command to cancel a countdown could be abort, maybe, probably. To arrange some video clips, e.g., would be to edit, I suppose. A wrapped Indian garment is a sari. Here we go. The official, I would consider this the official uh, wrapped garment of the New York Times crossword. I said that once and somebody said, well, surely the toga would be that. But then somebody else in the comments actually researched, which had been used more. And I believe I believe sari has been used considerably more. So I think it is the official garment. And it makes sense. It's got some very common letters. Hip hop's Wu-Tang Clan. There we go. A hip hop group. Something found in a computer folder would be a file, presumably. Crowdsourced review site. Review site. Trustpilot. What else is a crowdpilot? Crowdsourced review site. Oh, Yelp. Yelp is the classic one, of course. Plant that soothes burns. Right. I think we've got another official New York Times answer in here, which is um, aloe, the official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword. And to commit perjury would be to lie under oath. As I was saying, you might say to clarify something or to restate it, half of quattro would be dos. So half of four is two. Oh, whoops, don't look. Sorry, almost looked at the cross clue there. Okay, so we've got to fill in the rest of these. What do we, where, where's a fruitful place to look? Maybe this. You'd rather not know. Come I'm looking at the acrosses without looking at their clues. So it looks like it could be coin, host country, part, escort. So this would be, you'd rather not know. C-O-R-T. I'm not sure. A for alien world, probably in 60 across. You'd rather not know. Oh boy, I'm not sure. What about what about this one? Fair oh, that's the farewell celebration, right. Ends with party, maybe? A oh maybe it is, maybe it's Aloha party. Do I know that phrase? I'm not sure. Um probably purple state in the across there, whatever that is. This looks like the name Alex. Fundamental Oh, it is Tenet, right, okay, good. It is one of my two guesses. And then glorify could be exalt or extol. Uh, probably not extol, um, because we have Krona going across, and then, uh, so I think it is probably exalt. Okay, we'll come back to that. So this is the only space left. Can I, can I pull this off? Uh, I'm not sure if I can. Oops, oops. You'd rather not know something, coin, but it could be go in or do in. So that first letter could be a number of them. Host country, so something O. 
The next one could be part or pant or packed. The one after that is certainly escort. So something O, something T, A. Don't ask. You'd rather not know, don't ask. Do I think this will complete? It did. There we go. It's amazing how much faster this goes when you do it this way, actually. Um, but now I will, <laughs> I will squander some of that saved time by reading the across clues. And let's find out what we implicitly filled in without knowing why. 1960s activist Hoffman, Abby Hoffman. I think Abby, did Abby Hoffman write, steal this book? Can't remember. Anyway, Santa's sack full of toys, of course. To abruptly leave as a lover would be to jilt your lover. If you're intoxicated, you're drunk. Help to help a criminal with a crime would be to abet them. An app connecting rider with riders with drivers is Uber, a ride-sharing app. Oh, and of course we've got our theme, which we haven't looked at any of yet. Um, in Europe, it's known as a twin town, a sister city. There we go. Yep. So uh, don't yet know what this is going to be, but that, I assume, is one of the theme answers because it's a longer answer and it's in the crosses, and that's very common. Here we have the lottery, mega millions. Part of a needle or a hurricane, the eye of a needle or eye of a hurricane. If one took in some takeout, one ate. Unruly 1960s hairdo is a mop top. Digital diary is one's blog. Clothing ensembles slangly are f fits. Okay, don't think I know that one, but I can understand why it makes sense. You know, clothes, the fit of clothing. Earth-friendly prefix is eco. Hotly contested area in a U.S. election is a purple state, right? Okay, so a state that might oscillate between red and blue and two major political affiliations in the U.S. Luke and Leia's mother in Star Wars, Padme, right, from the prequel films. Unfortunately, it would be alas, oh well. Game show icon Trebek is Alex Trebek. Constellation with a belt is Orion, Orion's belt. Greek T would be Tau, from the Greek alphabet, of course. Swedish currency is Krona. I always forget which Krona ends in an E and which with an A, but Swedish with an A, apparently. Queen of the Nile informally would be Cleo for Cleopatra. How you doing, you might ask slangily. Oh, that's funny. I considered that this might be do in, as in to do somebody in, to, I don't know, potentially murder them. But uh, in this case, it's a contraction of doing. Lucy's pal on I Love Lucy is Ethel from the old sitcom. France for the 2024 Olympics is the host country. So we have city, state, country. So we're sort of pulling out. Oh, and then alien world. Okay, so we're just, we're, we're pulling out in each case to a larger sort of geographical or political unit. Um, legal profession abbreviation would be ATT for attorney. What dogs do with their tongue sticking out is that's how they pant. That's how they sweat. On the double uh, is ASAP as soon as possible. To accompany someone is to escort them. Just a heads up would be FYI for your information. A sheep's sound is ba. And an arti uh, artist who co-authored a book about his mustache, uh, Dali, Salvador Dali, who had a very famous waxed mustache. Uh, and here's the, our final theme answer. The extraterrestrial's home to us would be an alien world. So we've pulled well out to world, the entire, entire planet. Uh, neighbor of Turkey would be Iran. Window ledge is a sill, windowsill. Star Wars droid, familiarly, is R2. Well, it's two Star Wars clues in this puzzle. A slight coloration would be a tint. To hang on to something is to keep it. And ocular annoyances are styes. Uh, which you can get in your eye, and it is very annoying. All right, well, there we go. That was the Monday crossword solved with... Uh, actually, this I did do it. with. I think the last time I tried it down only, I eventually had to give up. So this this might be... I, this might be my first of these that I've that I've done on camera anyway that was successful with just the downs. Um, but there we go. That was the Monday crossword solved in a slightly odd way. Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. I should be back tomorrow with the next edition of this crossword um, on Tuesday. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Uh -huh.